Hey, hello guys, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, learn how to actually hang on. Quick, 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 quick. There you go. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna learn how, or I mean, not learn. I'm, I'm not an expert bomber. I'm way better at fighters. Um, although I have flown a lot of bombers before. Uh, so right now I'm playing on my new account as you guys can see it doesn't have the asterisk um, so anyways let's get to it basically uh, what I want to do is I want to I'm spiraling around the base I spawn at the furthest base from any possible action okay I spawn at the at the one that's way on the bottom uh, bottom left far away from stuff and uh, I'm just gonna keep spiraling around the airbase until I get to around six to ten thousand feet. All right, that's what you want to do. Six to ten thousand feet. That's roughly around three thousand meters, I think. Two thousand five hundred to three thousand meters, I think. You guys might want to confirm that. Um, just convert ten thousand feet, or whatever. Uh, six to ten thousand. I'm just gonna keep spiraling around, and the reason I'm doing this is because as I'm turning, well, I have access to my gunners while still maneuvering. And oh, I hear planes. I think those are the base AIs, so I'm not worried about them. Uh, I have access to the gunners, and at the same time, I have access to support from the base anti airs. So if anything is to go wrong, I'm not completely alone, uh, given the fact that. Most people don't really try to help or escort you or something. And even then, an escort is really not that useful because, let's be honest, how many bomber pilots are looking through their gunners and then tell the fighter, hey, there's a plane there, hey, there's a plane there, and the fighter goes back and actually kills those. Doesn't happen a lot unless you have a good teammate with you. Um, so best thing to do is to use the resources available to you just by default. The negative part about this is that you're going to need some patience. However, if you do it right, it's pretty much going to guarantee, uh, not guarantee, but it's going to give you a lot more chances to succeed on whatever the heck you're trying to do, alright? In this case, completely obliterate a uh, base. Now right now I'm trying to decide whether I want to hit one of the main bases, one of the major ones, or if I want to hit uh, a smaller base. And I think I'm going to go and uh, hit one of the major bases. Now I'm gonna keep climbing. It's really slow. I might want to. Ah shit. B6. Two fighters. Oh, that's way up there. So far in the game, I was playing with a fighter. I got one kill and two other kills on AIs. It's been good so far. Also, make sure your flaps are down to combat. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to keep mine on. Uh, take off since they might generate more lift they also generate a little bit more drag but I'm hoping that the lift will overtake the drag right around 6,000 we can go ahead and level out and start flying directly into the uh, whatever the heck place we want to go to I think I think I'm going to go bomb one of the major bases because that's the one that's going to give you the most amount of RP and uh, lions. Now you may be saying, oh look at you promoting bombers. Yes, bombers are fine in simulator. I believe they're perfectly fine. Uh, I do however find it really annoying when players just go to bomb the base. Okay, I am okay with bombers flying in the game. I don't care how many people fly the bombers. I don't. I really don't care. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with them taking bombers, climbing up, playing how they should, and then bombing targets. That's fine. I'm happy when they do that. What I'm not happy with, what I hate that they do, is when they just take the bombers, they go to the base, they bomb it, and then they J out. That is the toxic thing that is annoying to me. 
because no matter how many times you kill them they're just gonna spawn back and go back to the base and it's really frustrating I'm definitely against that usage of bombers but if you're using them like I am right now you take off you climb up you go bomb the base and you have your own objective to make it back to your own base rearm and then go back up that's perfectly fine I'm happy when people do that what I hate is when they do what I said before so yeah I'm promoting healthy use of bombers <laughs> alright don't bash on me now uh, I have the crew spaded for the gunners so these gunners are on points uh, I, I do want to further upgrade the crew though it's gonna further improve uh, while we're here, a lot of people have requested that I do a video on trimming, and I, I, I haven't done that, and I guess I'm, I'm going to give that to you guys uh, as I'm flying this bomber. So, right now, I'm sitting at a 0% trim, elevator and aileron, 0%. I set up my trim controls, elevator trim, and aileron trim, right? I have them set up in my controls, so I can use them whenever I like. Uh, and... So right now I'm gonna let go of my stick. All right, I'm gonna let go of it and watch what happens. All right, I'm letting go in three, two, one. I'm letting go. See how it's dropping? The nose is dropping. It keeps dropping, and it's gonna keep dropping until it's level, and it's gonna dive after that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply trim uh, to minimize the effect or completely cancel it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my uh, elevator trim up. I'm gonna put it up. Whoops. There you go, I'm putting it up, roughly 5%. I'm going to pull my nose up a little bit. There you go, I'm not touching my stick. See how it's staying pretty stable? Now, notice how my plane is kind of like slightly banking to the left? Fine, if it's doing that, level it real quick, and then trim it to the right slightly. I'm going to assume it's only about eh, maybe 1-2% to trim. Now, since my speed decreased a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and pull my trim up a little more. Oh, putting it down. There you go. About 9%. There. I'm letting go of my stick in 3, 2, 1. Letting go. Now it's actually pulling up. That's fine. You can let it pull up. It'll stabilize eventually. When the speed drops, it's going to start falling back down. It seems like I'm still banking a little bit to the left, so I'm going to trim it a little bit more to the right maybe four percent is a sweet spot there we go that's how you trim an aircraft guys you can also trim it to fly straight and level however keep in mind that if you fly uh, straight and level and you want to trim uh, such that hang on let me, let me look outside I think I heard something if you want to fly straight and level and you want to trim your aircraft such that it stays straight and level uh, then you're gonna have to just make sure that your speed doesn't increase too much because when your speed increases let's say that you set your trim to the configuration that I have it at right now uh, and notice how it's maintaining roughly uh, between uh, 5 and 7 degrees it's maintaining it there so that's really good trimming right there now watch what happens I'm gonna reset my trim I'm gonna reset it all to 0 and 0 see and it starts to drop so that's how the trim is useful. Uh, you guys just got you guys just gotta play with it. Uh, you can also apply rudder trim. I I don't like to use rudder trim. I've I've honestly never used rudder trim before. Uh, I haven't really had to use that. One of the main reasons I use the trimming, for example, let's say I'm in a jet or a plane, whatever. I'm in a plane, and my wing gets shot. Now it's damaged, and my plane wants to bank one way. I use the trim to cancel out that effect, such that my plane flies as if it wasn't shot now you're still gonna feel the effects of the fact that you just got shot but it's gonna be way minimized so we're a little bit off course here I'm gonna go ahead and turn slightly towards their base I'm gonna continue to increase my altitude because I want to ensure that I am as high as possible to prevent fighters from reaching me
and we are on our way. Now, I really don't want to die with this bomber, okay? So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I don't die. Uh, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. I'm going to pull my trim up to 10% and aileron trim to 5%. Eh, 3%. There we go. Alright, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to pull up the map here and show you the stats for this B-17. If I die, it's going to cost me 36,000 lions to repair. However, the gain that I get from this is 1,020% lions. So that's going to be a lot of lions in my pocket when I drop my bombs. If, and even more if I kill a plane. Alright, so my oil is overheating, so I'm going to reduce my throttle a little bit here. Uh, instead of reducing throttle, honestly, I would rather recommend you guys just apply... Um, uh, words are flying out of my head. Um, instead of uh, decreasing your throttle, what I recommend you guys do is apply um, your radiator. Okay, just open up your radiator all the way. It's going to help you stay cool. Uh, the only reason I'm not doing that right now is because I recently created new controls for myself here. And uh, as a result of the new controls, my, uh, my manual engine controls have not been set yet. So, just scanning around for some sweet targets. There's our target. Our main target. Ah, oh, we got something down there. It looks like a bomber. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's a bomber. Oh, yeah, that's a big, fat bomber. Alright, we're going to go ahead and reduce power to about 85% here. Uh, and the reason I can move my head around like like that is because well I'm using track IR so I swear I hear I hear something you guys hear that oh, I definitely hear something oh hello hello that is a German it's uh Scare it off. Just a couple taps of the trigger. Okay, we're getting close to the target. Now this is the part where you should start to worry a little bit because right around here is where you start to encounter more fighters. You definitely don't want to be dying in planes like this because it's going to cost you. It's going to hurt your wallet. There is. I'm pretty sure he's going to come back around for me. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we uh, keep tabs on that guy. Oh, what is this? I think that's a friendly bomber. Okay, I'm going to mark him. Just so that he can... Oh boy, he's going to get hit. All right. Yeah, that's definitely something to worry about. All right, we're gonna start uh, getting synchronized with our target here. I'm gonna maintain the same uh, setup for my trim that I have at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn power to maximum, ensure that I can get there as fast as possible. All right, we got more fighters in the area. All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't miss my target here. All right, this is getting pretty scary now. Okay. Watch our power here. That's a close one. Okay. Looks like we're on the safe zone. 
All right, reset trimming. Open bomb bay doors. I'm gonna hit those hangers. All right, bombs away. I'm gonna turn back. I'm gonna stay in this camera. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Let's watch our points. 1160. Let's see how much they increase after that. We're gonna go back to the same runway that we took off from because that's the furthest one away. It's gonna help us avoid any fighters. Bombs hit, 1200. Not as much increase, but I know I'm gonna get a ton of lions for that. Okay, let's go ahead and drop power to 85 again. Alright, raise your flaps. And get to combat mode. Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick. Um, there is a zoom. It'd be a shame if I crash doing this. Zoom axis. Um, okay, I'm gonna use my mouse for zoom axis. Mouse wheel. Zoom axis. There you go. The reason I'm going to do this is so I can... Um, actually, yeah, never mind. I can't. I was hoping I could increase my field of view. Kind of like this. Um, ah, damn it. Never mind. I actually can't do that here. Wow. That's probably because I'm using uh, track IR. Okay, so that guy right there. He's not flying towards us. I think we're safe. Yeah. Our altitude is still increasing, which is it's good. Keeping a good speed too. Pretty successful bomb run. Almost a ton. And 1481 points actually. It went up a lot. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to land um, the way that I do it um, in order to prevent getting shot down and save money. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to the base. I'm going to fly over the base once and then I'm going to start dropping my altitude in a spiral right on top of the base. That's going to help me prevent getting shot. Um, and if I do get shot, I'm going to have anti-air support and my gunners. So, that's the smartest way to fly bombers. It'll keep you safe, it'll keep you alive, and you won't be losing um, tens of thousands of dollars or lions um, due to dying in this beast. You cannot rush with bombers. Bombers are a very delicate creature. You have to treat them very delicately and with a lot of patience and if you treat them right they'll treat you right if you know what I mean good gains now the reason I'm playing this bomber is because of the lions uh, I'm actually researching planes faster than I can buy them last match I played uh, I've been playing today last match that I played I got 21 kills I got um, around 300,000 lines and I researched four entire planes uh, because I got 172,000 research points uh, so I was able to get a lot of aircraft and I I couldn't even buy all of them 
Um, so I'm researching faster than I can buy. In other words, um, I need to play some of these big bombers to help me get the money. Because this guy gives me 10-20% uh, lines. This is the most I'm going to get. Not even premiums make this much. L look at this. 840 and 570. This thing makes a lot more than the premiums do. And if you have a booster, like a 500% booster or something, you slap it onto this thing, boy, you are in for a treat. This one time, I got around 900,000 silver lines in a single match, because I had a 500% booster, and I ended up getting, I think it was like 11 kills with a bomber. I didn't die at all, and I was able to bomb a lot of stuff. So, almost a million uh, lions in a single match that was around two to three hours. This bomber is actually stock. I don't have anything for this bomber, uh, so it's pretty. It's in pretty bad condition right now. Imagine how good it would be if you spade it. So right now, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get killed anytime soon. Plus, flying in, this thing is pretty peaceful. One fun thing to do, uh, something I do quite a lot, is I... I actually have a couple friends. Well, I can't say I do it a lot. I, I really don't do it a lot, but... I have a couple friends, and we have taken bombers out, and we just fly formations. We fly so close, wingtip to wingtip, right there. Just wingtip to wingtip. Uh, and we fly together to the bases, and we bomb them. Uh, sometimes uh, we have taken the heaviest things like B-29s or TU-4s and we have been able to kill bases in only a couple flyouts. So pretty fun. Imagine doing that with PE-8s. Just an idea there. Carpet bomb bases with PE-8s. You can probably destroy a base per flyout if you get enough people. Maybe three people. Three or four people. To drop a 10k pound bomb on a base. Oh yeah. I don't even think it takes four, I think it takes like three. Let's go ahead and increase our speed. We're pretty high up, so it's pretty cold up here. Chances are we're not gonna overheat too easily. I really gotta get my manual engine controls set up, because if I do, I can simply activate manual engine controls, reduce my propeller pitch to about 95%, or optimal performance at um, medium to high altitudes there um, and open up my radiator um, all the way if I have to that's gonna allow me to keep my engines running at full power and not overheat And this is the appropriate way of flying bombers in War Thunder Simulator battles. Not just flying them low, because when you fly low, trust me, everybody's going to hoard you. No matter how much of a threat your bomber is, there is always going to be an idiot that's willing to die just to get a couple points. I don't trust anything here, so I'm going to make sure I fly over the base once directly over it and then I'm gonna start turning into a spiral and I'm gonna land directly into the base really easy nice and steady and I'll show you guys in a minute Those are the AI planes down there. Okay. Alright. We're good. Here's how we do this. Drop power. Flaps up all the way. And now we... Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and check real quick. 
260. Okay, so we gotta make sure we don't go above 260 speed. We also gotta make sure we don't rip our wings while doing this, so. See, our altitude's dropping pretty rapidly, and we're also staying alive. We're doing the same thing we did to take off. We took off in a spiral, we went up to 6,000 feet, and then we flew out. And now, we return to base, directly over, and spiral down to it. Simple. Spiral up, fly out to your target, return, spiral down to the base. How to stay alive in Bombers 101. Now, obviously, if you're flying a top tier uh, with jets and stuff, it's a little bit different. You can still do this, uh, although I wouldn't recommend it because, honestly, jets don't even get hit by uh, anti-air bases because, you know, <clears throat> you know, um, bases in top tier have World War II guns and they're shooting at jets. So, obviously, jets is coming supersonic and while you're spiraling up, they can just kill you so easily. So, when you're flying jets, you're honestly just better off maybe flying away from the battle, like towards the edge of the map, and then just going around. Uh, yeah, that's the best thing I can say. And then just repeating the same process to return to base. Um, keeping your speed are, uh, just below 210 is probably the best optimal way to do this, by the way, uh, just to ensure that you don't rip or anything. We're going to be on the ground before you guys know it. All right, I went a little bit over 210 there, but I think I'll be fine. The enemy is winning. We must I'm going to go ahead and recalculate that to 230. I think 230 is fine. You won't rip at 230. Unless you pull back, I'm sure. So, don't pull back. Too harshly, I mean. Oh. There you We're almost there. Almost there. We're going lower in the atmosphere, so we're going through denser air, which means our speed's going to start going slower. More drag. It increased now because I dipped my nose a little bit lower. Oh shit. 230, 230, 230. Be a shame if I crash now. <sighs> I'm still posting it if I crash. It'll be funny. Yeah, chances are nobody's going to try to attack you here. And even if they do, chances are they're not going to kill you. First of all, you're turning pretty steeply. Second of all, the second you hear an engine, you can just turn around like this and absolutely just destroy whatever comes at you. I think we can maintain roughly 10 degrees. 10 degrees of descent will be fine. I would say in about 25 degrees of bank. 40. The tank gets like 45 right there. When we reach 1,000 feet, we're going to fly out, 
just enough so we can turn back around and line up with the base and land. Alright. I'm going to fly out. I'm going to make a diagonal here. I don't even think we need to um, increase power. Actually, we might. Yeah. Let's go 60%. I'm going to use my gunner view to see how far I am. That's far enough. For me at least. This bomber is really heavy, but it has really good turn rate. I would say this thing can turn as fast as the fucking Japanese. <laughs> Alright, that's good right there. I'm going to go ahead and flap some combat. I haven't flown bombers in a while, so it'd be a pretty big shame if I crash. Shameful death. I'm gonna go landing flaps. Test the limits of this thing. I came in a little too fast for a bomber. Uh, you guys gotta be really careful with that. Right, just let it glide. Don't force it. Trust me, you'll be better off if you just let it glide. Remember, they're delicate creatures. Oh boy. Come on. That wasn't the best landing, but uh, that'll work. Alright, we're below 40, that means we can turn. There you go, we're safe. And that's how you do it, guys. Pretty, pretty simple. Take off, spiral up, head out, head back, spiral down. Repeat that a couple of times in your head and you'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and check how much money I made from this as soon as... I'm not leaving the game, I'm just waiting for respawn. And I'm going to cut the video as soon as I respawn and check my stuff. Let's see. Oh, I can't see. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to cut the video here. Alright, well, that's how you fly a bomber, guys. Thank you guys for watching. God bless all of you. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Uh, right here on the screen, you're going to see a, um, uh, you know, like a, a link to the movie that I'm currently building. It's not the movie. It's it's not like it's a, it's a film. It's a, it's a short film. Uh, it's not really short. It's like an hour long. I'm building it. Whatever. The trailer is up. Uh, you guys can see the trailer. Uh, go to that right now. And um, take a look at the trailer. Um, remember, it is a trailer. It is not the movie. It is a trailer. I have to put a lot of emphasis on that. Because I've gotten some criticism from people. Because they think that's the whole movie. When it's actually just a trailer. Obviously the trailer is going to be missing a lot of important details. So that you understand what the plot is. So, um, yeah. Alright, well. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video and God bless all of you. Ah, shit. How do I stop recording? Damn it. All right. See you guys.